Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I have to confess that I didn't expect this one. That means I didn't uh, think that even the conversation about this subject will be right there uh, in the open. And it is a discussion on uh, supplying maybe, possibly, I would say never, uh, submarines to Ukraine. I personally think that the chance of uh, giving Ukraine one submarine is zero. But hey, these guys are talking about it and as I um, sometimes uh, use this expression, uh, where there is a smoke, there is a fire. So if there are, these guys are talking about this, that means they are discussing this possibility. I think it's um, unfeasible cannot be uh, completed. You need training and you need a crew. I know that Ukraine had a submarine, one submarine, and uh, nevertheless, this is going to be a Western-made submarine, I'm guessing, unless, uh, I don't know who could uh, provide them with a submarine. I don't know if Poland has submarines or not. Um, I would expect them to have one or two. But anyway, it's why I say Poland, because they probably could provide the, uh, the Ukrainians with a submarine. But I don't think that would happen. I zero, let's see, nothing. So all this started actually, all this, the conversation on submarines that I missed was on the 24th of, uh, at least when I found it on the internet, uh, 24th of February, 2022. So last year the stupidity started and that was uh, reported in this case by Defense News and it's from January 24th, I'm sorry, not February, 2022. And lawmakers, US submarines force can help check Russian ambitions in Ukraine. So they think here they were talking about, you know, maybe the US submarines can, uh, you know, can be de deployed in the Black Sea and maybe uh, just keep the Russians at bay over there somehow. But nothing like uh, uh, giving the Ukrainians submarines. But then uh, all this evolved or dev devolved, however you want to call it, to this one. Uh, and this comes from Daily News and it's from today, the 8th of February 2023. Tanks, submarines, planes, who else? End quote. Scholz did not like the, and I'm calling competition, in the transfer of weapons to Ukraine. Now all this comes, I have to uh, uh, give you a summary of what I know so far, comes from um, the Ukrainian ambassador to Germany. He stated that they need warships for the Black Sea and submarines for the Black Sea. This occurred about... Uh, two to three weeks ago, some, sometime at the beginning of this year, he uh, claimed that, uh, I think it, it was just before the Rammstein on the 20th of, February, uh, of January 2023. And he said, well, Germany or whomever, uh, come on, give us some uh, uh, warships or submarine, and then they say submarines. So that's how it came. I heard this before, but anyway, like plainly coming from uh, an official, Ukrainian official in Germany. And after that, now uh, Scholz is stressed about it. Uh, and I have two articles here. I have this one from Daily News and I have uh, the other ones. Um, the other one I have it from, where is it? Right here. It's Sputnik with a different title. So let's uh, read this one first. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz criticized some countries that are allegedly participating in a competition to see who will transfer more weapons to Ukraine. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz criticized some countries that are allegedly bop, 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 bop. Reuters write, writes about it. During his speech in the Bundestag, Scholz said that there is allegedly a competition between the partners as to who will supply more weapons to Ukraine. In his opinion, this harms the unity of the, the, of the West. Why is that? Because there are some countries who do not want to supply weapons. Obviously, what would be the interpretation? If people can be, oh, let's do it. Some people say, no, I'm not going to do it. Germany, according to the Chancellor, observes confidentiality in the supply of weapons. First, it prepares decisions 
and then and only then informs about them and i'm quoting what harms our unity is the public competition to outdo each other in areas battle tanks submarines airplanes who will give more question mark end quote said Scholz. The Chancellor of Germany added that his country is coordinating its actions with the United States in the matter of supplying weapons to Ukraine. It will be recalled that earlier the German publications reported that the German government, and I'm quoting, started an active diplomatic offensive, end quote, and is trying to convince other states to take a concrete planned part in the supply of tanks to Ukraine. Olaf Scholz also criticized German politicians who proposed to hand over planes to Ukraine. All right, so that's one. Uh, the other one is this, the same. It's two hours ago, the same today, the 8th of February 2023. Demands for supply of combat aircraft submarines to Kiev harm allies. Unity. Scholz. So that means there are some people who really don't want to get along or, you know, or go along, I'm sorry, with uh, the script which is, you know which one that is. Demands for supplying, demands for the supply of military aircraft and submarines. Submarines started being uh, used right now uh, by these weasels. To Ukraine only harm the unity of NATO partners and Germany will not take part in such discussions, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz said on Wednesday. They said that they will not send uh, military aircraft to Ukraine too. We'll find, we'll see. <laughs> And I'm quoting Scholz, what harms our unity is a public competition over who will demand what more tank submarine aircraft. What also hurts is bright domestic political statements and public criticism of partners and allies. That means if you don't do something in other countries, the mass media will say, hey, look, Germany doesn't want to do it. Germany, huh? Second World War, Germany. Oh, Ger Germany is not. Oh, Germany is with Putin. Ger and then uh, they try to build their uh, weasel uh, public op opinion towards that direction. So Germany will not participate in this because even dissonance and speculation about the possible difference of opinion only benefits Russian President Vladimir Putin, Scholz told lawmakers. Earlier, Ukrainian Deputy Foreign Minister Andrei Melnik said that Germany should supply fighter jets, warships and submarines to Ukraine. This is the guy, but uh, I made a confusion. He was the Ukrainian ambassador to Germany. He was removed about four months ago, but, but then he landed uh, somewhere else and, and he's Deputy Foreign Minister Andrei Melnik. He was the, the, the Ukrainian ambassador to Germany and he said he made some uh, direct stupid comments uh, on the German president, the president of Germany, not the chancellor, the president, uh, called him this and this and that. So because that guy did not come and bend his knee in Kiev and uh, he started talking shit. Anyway, in January, Germany pledged on sh on sen to send 14 Leopard to A6 tanks to Ukraine after being repeatedly urged to do so by some of its EU and NATO allies, which is the United States. <laughs> the United States said it would send Ukraine 31 Abrams tanks and 8 M88 recovery vehicles, noting that the delivery would take considerable time. <laughs> the, the war will be over by then. Also, Ukrainian President Zelensky, Ukrainian, <laughs> President of Ukraine Zelensky, called on NATO countries to unlock the supply of long-range missiles and military aircraft to Kiev. Yes. There you have, and this is the last one that tells us uh, about the military operation. So it is the, I, I talked about uh, long range missiles. I talked about that when I said that's coming uh, according to my little model of, uh, of uh, you know, mountain slope, which is you start slow, you start slow and then you go from little demands and even little things, go to the main point, which is Short of nuclear weapons, there will not be no be uh, there will not be any nuclear weapons delivered to Ukraine, unless Ukraine will somehow push the Russians to the border back there. The Russia loses, and then NATO takes over Ukraine, and they will bring the uh, possible. Uh, they will first bring long-range missile uh, def defense systems, and probably deploy nuclear weapons over there, so they can keep Russia right there. If Russia loses and lose, I don't know how they will lose that, unless 
you uh, get rid overnight or in about a week of about 300 uh, people in the uh, Russian leadership and then you put your weasels. That means you decapitate the whole leadership and you put your weasels, they're going to turn everything into a whore. Uh, the Europe's whore, not the whole Europe's whore, the US's whore, and sometimes the, the US, when it gets wasted, uh, is going to allow the little dogs to jump on uh, <clears throat> Russia for a few times, and then he comes back after he replenished his uh, energy. And you know what I mean. Uh, and uh, only then they will probably put those weapons over there because they take and they say, well, where would be the, the need to do that if Russia is already bent over and uh, repeatedly? Uh, well, because you never know. And uh, even if they would take control of the, over the Russian uh, nuclear arsenal, which they plan on, and energy, that's what it is. Energy, arsenal. Um, and that's it. The rest, you can do whatever. And make sure that politically these guys are not having any, any ideas of any other kind of uh, uh, civilization than the culture they are pushing towards uh, <clears throat> everybody else in Europe. And in, uh, it seems like only in these kind of countries. Uh, I haven't heard that pushed yet in, I don't know, let's say uh, China or, I don't know, maybe Japan or maybe, I don't know, let's call it Africa. Not yet. It just, just start with these guys. Anyway, if you know what I mean, that's a cultural war as well. And uh, not only in the United States of America, but here they want to export it to uh, some other countries for good reasons. Empowerment and uh, freedom and liberty and all those, uh, you know, equity, uh, inclusion and diversity. Okay, thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.